Welcome back guys to the Surgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So in this video, we're covering a tobacco review and it's a blend that is dropped today. In fact, at the making of this video, it is, uh, uh, it is available. And that is by Watch City Cigars or Watch City Tobacco Company. And it's their Simply Red with Perique. I don't know how familiar you are with Watch City Cigar. You need to be familiar with them. Um, I, I, I love their blends. My favorite, Virginia Perique is produced by them and i want to i'll cover that later in the future um, and then also their red virginias are phenomenal they're excellent as you can tell from the name um, the the base of this blend is they're simply red and it simply has perique in it uh, added so i want to cover the background of this blend and its description we'll we'll jump into getting a look at it and as always i'll light it up give you thoughts maybe comparisons if there are any so we're, instead of going to tobaccoreviews.com as usual for the background, it's not there. We're going to be going to watchthecigar.com for the description, and it's very simple. Limited run. Our world-famous Red Virginia is kissed with Perique. Press into caramel cake and age for a somewhat sweet, tangy, and fruity variation on a classic blend. So to add in maybe a comparison here, just, just real quick, if you're not familiar with Red Virginia or uh, they're Simply Red, or maybe you are, uh, they're Simply Red is, is loose leaf um, and in, uh, it comes in ribbon format where this one is gonna be crumble cake. Uh, so that's a distinction. And, and I just wanna throw out there, some of the best Red Virginia I've had comes from Watch These Cigar. Um, they get their supply from Sutliff and, and what they use is phenomenal. How they blend it, all they do with it, it's, it's excellent. So just throwing that out there for, your, uh, for you for the future. So I don't have any further description uh, for, for you other than it's by uh, Watch the Cigar. It is Red Virginia and Perique. But I can give you at least the cost of it, and that is going to be $18.99. Uh, this is, again, a limited run, so keep that in mind. But at last I checked, uh, you should have no problem get your hands on this blend. So with all that information, let's go ahead and get a look at the blend. All right, guys, here we are with Simply Red Cake with Perique. Um, typical Sutliff style European coin, and you can tell that it, it comes in flake or crumble cake form form uh boy that like the virginia fermented notes just you get a huge whiff of it when you open this up it smells excellent you know it's going to be good um if you can see a bit of the distinctions in the in the leaf um, a bit of mostly darker red virginia and then you just get some of the uh dark dark perique in there not a lot of it it's mostly a red Virginia you're, you're seeing, but you do get a bit of it. It crumbles easy enough, and it doesn't really need to be, be um, dried out whatsoever. Uh, it, it comes pretty much right on perfect. Uh, maybe a bit on the wet side, but not enough for me to bother, and it didn't really affect the, uh, the lighting, um, uh, lighting the pipe or anything like that. So you should be good to go. All right, so I have it loaded up in this straight Dublin. Uh, by Malcolm Pipe Shop, by the way, and I really recommend uh, you check out his pipes. Uh, this is one I bought when I purchased this house, and it's kind of like the welcoming pipe um, to break in the home, if you will. But I have it loaded up. Um, it's near full because I have been smoking this stuff since I got it um, the other day. So I have it loaded up. Let me just light it again, and we'll talk more about it. Um, I'm a Red Virginia lover. So this blend is already a winner. Uh, just to kind of give you uh, an idea of how I've been smoking this blend and, and comparing, I've been smoking back to back the Simply Red with the Perique because I really want to know, okay, how much do I like just Simply Red? How much do I like the Perique? What's the difference? What's the Perique bringing in? Um, so I don't really want to just cover so much of Simply Red. I'll do that in another video, but it is going to come into play because I, I love the Virginias again. The, the, the leaf that they received from Sutliff and what Watch City Cigar has been doing with it is phenomenal. I love it. I love this Red Virginia. It is, it's earthy, lots of earthiness. Um, I really like that, but it's still sweet. There is a bit of that vinegariness uh, that maybe calls to mind uh, are the McClellan blends, especially re the Red 5100 that's everyone's always seeking to either get their hands on or to duplicate. If you're looking for that vinegary ketchup taste, 
you're really getting into it with with the uh, with the simply red. But so we have not just simply red, of course, we have it with Perique. So what's the difference here? What's what's going on? Uh, it's sweeter than and earthier than simply red alone. I don't know why Perique would be simply or would be earthier, and and maybe it's kind of like a salt. You know how salt brings out the flavors of a meat. Maybe that's what the Perique's doing. But I, I do feel that it's earthier than just simply red alone. Really like that. It's sweeter than just simply red alone. Um, simply red is, is phenomenal. It's not as sweet if you prefer that. But it has these uh, very tangy, very tangy flavors uh, or characteristic. Deep red, fruity, like prune notes. Man, that it nails them with that. Um, and so it's bring it's really just bringing those those out. The the preek is it has some of that spicy notes to it. It's it's peppery, uh, especially in the retro hell. And that describes a lot of Virginia's uh, Virginia preek blends out there. Um, those characteristics we hear them with everything. And but but I really want to stress, this is a cut above most Virginia preeks I've had. Uh, this is a cut above. Um, most of other companies like they just stands apart with how. With how rich it is, it feels like it has been aged already, and, and that's really what's what's so excellent about this. I don't think it has been aged. Um, it doesn't detail that it's using aged leaf. But it is so rich that it, it feels like it is, or it tastes like it is. So maybe give you some comparisons, because maybe that's more helpful. I'm having a hard time really giving you an idea of how distinct this blend is. Uh, or, or what's different from it than other blends. So let me just throw out some comparisons to help you out. Um, if you had the Carolina Red Flake from last year, um, if it could have been the year before. It was a 20, I forgot which one, but Cornell and Dale just put out the Carolina Red Flake, so no Perique. Um, those Red Virginias are not as sweet or dark or deep like these are. But even with the Perique, it's, it, it's not as deep, dark, or sweet either. Um, I feel like those are the, the perique is stronger in flavor. So there's there's that. These are far more earthier. Uh, it tastes like almost a fall blend. So there's another blend I have in mind, and I'll, Old Dominion by Watch City Cigar. Uh, one of my favorite blends. One of my my favorite Virginia periques. I was trying to compare it to that too because they come from the same company. Uh, this one is not as sharp or sweet as Old Dominion. So in a good way, it's not as sharp. I feel Old Dominion, for how much I love it, it is on the sharper side. I think Old Dominion is a little higher in Perique. So this one's getting some luck, some benefits of the Perique. It does say it's only a hint of it. And I really think it's adding, it, it, or it's, it's working more as a, a, like a salt than more of a, a true additive for, uh, for additional support or flavor, if that makes sense. I think it's bringing out a lot of the characteristics of the Simply Red. So sweet, tangy, dark and rich. It's like going outside on a fall day, crisp fall day, and you know the leaves have fallen to the ground. And you pick up some of that, uh, you know, you go into the woods and you pick up some of the fallen leaves and the dirt or soil and you kind of like smell it. That smell is what's in here. And if it doesn't sound appetizing, I'm sorry, but that it really, it's a good thing. It's a positive I'm really getting out. Old Dominion has that too. I first mentioned that with Old Dominion, but this, this one again is distinct from Old Dominion. I thought they would be very sim, or they would be the same blend, but they're not. Just phenomenal. I, I, I love this blend. I, I don't know what else to say about it. What I want to say, I can't say. It, it just stands apart. Uh, it just feels like an aged blend already, even though it's not from all I, I can tell. Um, rating, I'd give this like a 9.5 near a 10 out of 10. I, 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 I don't know if I could add anything to it to make it better. I love it as it is. Um, it has, it don't, I almost thought I even had Burley at one point because it's just so earthy. I don't, I don't find that always in Virginia blends, but I really enjoy it. And the Perique brings that out more than just the Simply Red alone. So, uh, so there is my uh, my comparisons, there's my rating. Um, if, if you're like, man, I don't know if I want to spend $18.99 on a 1.5 ounce tin, this is worth it for me. This is just this is up my alley. If, if it, you're a Virginia lover, this is going to be up your alley. It's no question, especially if you like red Virginias and not so much bright Virginias. If you like bright leaf blends, 
yeah, you you may not be as satisfied, but I love my Red Virginia blends. This is it. This I can't imagine how this is going to taste with age, uh, but already it's it's a step up above most blends, uh, Virginia blends that I've tried easily this year and, and over the over the years. So I encourage you to get some uh, if you can't tell. Uh, so be sure to check out, watch these cigars, give it a try. Uh, you might even pick up some of their Simply Red just to compare it to uh, and, and kind of see what I'm talking about. When I say it's Simply Red, but it's bringing out more of Simply Red. Uh, maybe adding maybe some more sweetness, uh, but it's but it's phenomenal. Yeah. So if you do, do get it and you try it, please let me know below. Am I over, you know, over exaggerating uh, when I, uh, how, how great this blend is? Feel free to say I am and, and drop some comments below. Guide some others to what you think and, and how you feel about it. Well, the guys, that's all I have today. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're blessed. And we'll talk to you very soon.